back to the second part of the construction of the stool. Today we are working on making the axle. So in your stool, it pivots on its axle and that allows the chair to expand. So, step one. You cut it at a 6 mil bar, 330 mils long. Okay, that's done on the bandsaw. We won't. The teacher may give you one as well. So, here you go. Put that in the vise down low, nice and tight. Now, before we can get our die onto it, we need to just file the edges. So, we'll just give it a quick file. Just. Yeah, right. That's a bit. Now, then with your die, you're going to use, use the M6 for this. Um, make sure there's a top, there's a bottom and a top for that. So, idea is, think about it, it won't be able to pop out. So, if you go that way, it won't pop out. So, that's where you put it on. Now, you grab it in the middle with one hand to start with, put some pressure on it, and we turn. How deep do we want to go down, Mr. Bishop? Well, there you are. You need to. Well, first of all, you need to get the grip. So you keep turning until you feel it start to bite. And then, once that's on, okay, so it's on now. Very important here that you do not just keep going. We actually need to do the old song of full turn on, half twist off. Full turn on, half twist off. Now, why we do this great song is because. If the shavings there, if they, they pick, they just build up, they'll just expand and they'll just crack the teeth because it's hardened um, steel there, which when you harden it, it becomes uh, very brittle. So it actually doesn't have much flex in it. So make sure you always do the half turn back or you will damage the, the actual die itself. Now, you want to go down, earlier on question, how far do you go down? Well, 20 mils ideally, um, which is probably when it just starts to poke through the um, the die there, so you see it's just, it's just coming through. That's probably, that's probably enough. So then, fingers underneath it, so you can catch it. It should, it should smoothly, if you've done it correctly, just spin off like that. All right, now, bad news is there's two ends to do. So flip it over and start the whole process again. Yeah, oh, that's exactly. That'd be enough. Exactly. Yeah. So. Now, you got the two ends done. Uh, good test is get your oh. M6 nut, and your M6 nut should just spin on like that. No, no force required. All right. So that's good. Now, we grab two. I found it. Best way to use is actually small washers. You use big ones, but now 50 mils from each end. Okay, so. 50 mils, up, not from the end of the thread, from this the st end of the rod. 50 mils, do a mark, and a mark there. All right. Then, you will get to these four washers, the six mil hole, and we line them up like that. Now, just out of convenience, we, we, I've got to use one of these, we've got to braise that on, so, the gap, the gap between it will be right there. Right. Now, probably safety with this. Um, you need to have your leather apron on or a welding jacket um, using gloves. And I've got safety glasses. Do you need to use a visor? Well, safety glasses because we're just brazing. We're not going to be in, we're not going to be intensely staring at the the brace. So safety glasses will suffice. Okay, now we grab the light. Okay, a bit light. Now the trick is you need to don't go across. You go across all day, nothing happen. You want to be depressing down and across. So a tiny little bit of uh, acetylene, which is air for fuel, and. And then 
make it do just give it a fox foxtail there let's start the flicker and then slowly add in the oxygen to uh, just so, carbon uh, to tiny little blue diamond there I'm going to call that the feather now the glove on thing on which being on YouTube uh, right now you follow me here but best off me here to get flux on your rod, you heat your rod a little, just a tiny bit, and you can dip it in the pink flux, and that'll stay on. Now, problem here, you've got a thin washer and a thick rod. So if we heat them in evenly, the washer will just melt off. So what we need to do is get the heat into the rod. Oops, just gave it a bit of a knock, tap it back in spot. There we go. So we're gonna actually put the heat in the rod, and the rod will therefore, in turn, heat up the washer. So I'm actually angling the heat down here. Okay, that, that wash would melt off in about 10 seconds, but if you get the heat into the rod, we're gonna... Okay, so it's getting a little bit dull red now. Ready a little bit more. And now it's getting hot. We can stick in the grazing rod. And... Yeah, re-dip your flux. Alright. Now just use the, using the, that's, you don't need much, you can use, now use the uh, torch to, to move the, around, making sure. Settles in. All right, that'll take a couple seconds to set. Done that side. Now you can do this side. And there you have it, and that's uh, that's your axle done. Uh, comment below if you've got any questions, and we'll move on to the next part of the video next week. Thank you very much.